Welcome to another Elver survival video. This server is full vanilla, first person only, and is the beginning of a series. We're going to do everything, we're going to do live base raids, base defense, and the ton of intense PvP. I hope you guys will enjoy this, if you want part 2 to come out, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 100 likes, subscribe, and let's get straight into the action. Just found the server, there has been a guy on the server for like 3 hours and he's saying that he's not friendly. Which is kind of good for me because, you know, I could easily kill him. Now I'm gonna build the base next to Junction 67 like last time. There's a mu there's multiple reasons why, but basically, it's the military area, it's a dead zone entrance, mega zombie spawns there, and I could easily counter if I hear any shooting. I'm gonna loot here over town. Since it's full vanilla, it's gonna be pretty hard to actually get loot and XP. I'm gonna try to get myself a gun and head over there. Maybe we'll get ourselves a chainsaw as well. I just looted the whole town and all I got was a snare. There's a base over there. Well, there is some Valentine shooting. Base seems like it's unraided as well. Well, he saw me and I'm dead. Well, I lost my carrot, bro. Oh, we could already take this green key card right over here. Oh, I returned. He's not here. He did take some of my stuff, but not all of them. Try to get myself a gun, maybe. I'm gonna think that that base up there might be his, which is not really good. Oh, a pug. Perfect. Because if I'm gonna build the base right next to here, we're gonna be neighbors. And by the looks of it, he's gonna kill me every single time he sees me. Wait. Yeah. These things over here give 4 XP. When a normal zombie gives you 1 XP. Is this a gun? What is this? Oh yeah, it's a shotgun, a palace. I'm gonna load them all really quickly. Got a puck as well, what the hell? Wait, did he just upgrade the wall? Oh my god, I had that per- Dude, now he knows that I'm here. I got him, I got him, I got him. I can't go in! Oh, he has an airlock. Okay, that's fine. Let's just take all of this load. Since this is vanilla, he has 30 second timer to get back to base. He's inside, I heard him step. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, and he plays these doors like these. Okay, well, at least we got another fully decked out Paug. Looks like I'm gonna have to chop myself a bunch of trees with just a military knife, which could take me a year. For now, I'm just gonna build a temporary one by one. Later on, I am thinking of building a pretty big base, but first we have to get rid of this guy. The one by one is pretty much done. I've put extra guns and extra stuff that I don't need inside these crates. Now, I'm just gonna go back to Junction 67. Oh, there's somebody over there. I hit him. I think he knows about me as well. Ouch, yeah, he definitely does. Oh, he's so low, bro. How many times did I hit him? Oh, I got him, I got him. Oh, he had a tusk. Oh, he has a drill. Oh my god, that's so good. Alright, oh, he killed another guy. Oh, he's dead. Get out, dude. You know, there's so much attachments on him. Right, well, it is a full moon. Killing zombies might be a good idea, but I don't really want to stick around. Because everybody seems like they want to come here right now. Yeah, he's dead. Looks like somebody was shooting him as well. High kill and some ammo. Alright. I just made myself a bed, made myself some extra crates, and in them I placed extra ammo and guns that I'm not gonna use. Okay, he's dead. Bro, this guy keeps coming back. It's the owner of this base, he keeps coming back to Junction 67. I'm back from another loot trunk, got myself a ton of metal this time and some extra guns. I'm gonna start building the main base now, down here will be the first floor, but then it will be a tower. And then there would be like 5 stories, and then at the top will be like a 4x4, where it would be the main loot trunk. I'm gonna build a tower because on Alvary you can't really build plates, so it's gonna be OP against raiders. Well, somebody's shooting a tusk over here. I don't know if they're in PvP or if they're killing a mega zombie. Another tusk. And he is dead. Splendid. Let's see if he dropped any good load. Another tusk, grenades, and high kill. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, he's trying to raid me. Oh, yeah, he's reloading. Where is he? Oh my god, I almost died. He did try to raid me, dude. Oh, he's coming back. I hit him. Alright, he almost killed me. Alright, I'm actually gonna run over to his base with all the high kill that I have. I'm gonna give this a try and I'm gonna try to raid him. Because he's gonna keep coming back and he's probably gonna offline raid me if I don't do this anyway. And I would lose all of my progress. So I'm gonna raid him before he offline raids me. He's coming back. Alright, he's dead. Alright, actually perfect timing because now he has to wait 30 seconds so I could already start raiding him. Oh yeah, the puck, okay. With the tusk on a wooden wall, it's not gonna take that much hopefully, but I do have a, quite a ton of ammo. Oh, I broke it. Oh, there's wardrobes, dude. I broke the wrong wall. Oh, there's a gra there's some stuff in here, though. Graphics card. Oh, he's dead. 
Came out with a pog. Let's raid the wardrobe really quickly then. Oh, broke. Oh, he's in there. I saw him. Where is he? There we go. All right, we're done then. He we broke his bed. Let's just take the little military. He has a mystery box as well. Parachute. He doesn't have... Oh, oh my god, he has mesh. High cal for days. Probably the most important thing that we've got from this is the mesh and the mystery box. I'm gonna take everything and go back to base. We did get rid of him. All right, so I've successfully depoted everywhere. Now I'm just going to continue working on the main base. As you may see over here, we have a double door, which this will be the doorway towards the the hatch. Now I might do some of the triangular parts actually being a farm where I would just salvage the floor and down there I would plant my crops but for now we'll close it entirely. I've got myself an inventory full of wood. So the tower part of the base is finished. Now I'm just gonna start making the the floors. We're gonna make it probably either a 3x3 three three or a 4x4. Four four. I pretty much finished everything that I needed to finish. Now I just need to get myself some more hatches for the tower. I'm gonna put all of the good loot that I have up here. This time I do want to go to the safe zone. Last time I didn't go there. Well, I'm starting to like how the base is coming now. All right, Mega Zombie is dead. Hopefully some good loot. Oh wait, what? There's a guy. Where? Chainsaw, dead gyroscope and some rubber. All right, I'll take those. Night vision. Back at base, got myself a couple more phones as well from the mall. Next, in order to start making components, we need defibrillator batteries. And we could get those from the hospital. Well, it looks like an airdrop just happened. So, um, I'm actually gonna go for the airdrop instead of going for the batteries now. Oh, someone's just shot. The airdrop is right over here as well. Alright, let's see what the airdrop has. Mesh, perfect. Bunch of attachments, bunch of guns. Let's see what this guy had as well. He had two pickaxes, gyroscopes, a bunch of metal. Let's take the guns, the high kill. But now I'm gonna get the hell out of here before other people show up. I just searched around all of the hospital and didn't find a single defibrillator battery. That's okay, we'll just come back. I'm full of loot anyway from the airdrop. Alright, mega dead. Alright, well, grenade the toss can at least back. Oh, wait, finally. The vibrator battery, let's go. There's another one right over there. Great, now we can actually go to the dead zone. I can make a cosmos and an extra filter. Next, I'm gonna go get every single key card across the map. I have successfully made myself a thick pine crate. It's huge, but it stores so much stuff in it. And another thick pine crate. I'm gonna get myself a bunch more green crystals. For when I go to the dead zone, I'll get myself magenta crystals and then we could start making crystallized stuff. Another airdrop just landed very close to here as well. That's not that bad. A bunch of guns, a bunch of attachments. That's literally it. Looks like there's another base over here. It's full of metal except a couple of pillars. And it's not raided, right? Well, we'll definitely come back to this later on. I got myself a gas mask and an extra filter and we're about to hit the dead zone. Got all the key cards. I know exactly where I have to go because I remember from last time. And we're done from the dead zone. We got ourselves a ton of crafting items for components. We got our blowtorch, which is very, very important. A Moscow Rebel, a Pendiculator, a ton of circuit boards, some magenta crystals, a fishing rod, MK2, and a lot of high cal ammo. And now we can actually make ourselves the sacrificial scripture. We should have everything that we need. I've also got myself one dragon fruit to try and actually make it into a seed. I will salvage this floor here and then I'll start making a farm. I have maxed out most of the agriculture, so every time I harvest it, I will get like much more in return than one. Since I've got a blowtorch, I can make myself a bunch of safes and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get myself a lot of metal i made myself some lockers all right we got ourselves four of normal metal safes and i've also made myself two of the large ones now these ones are much bigger they're stronger and you would need a circuit board in order to make one i'm pretty sure i can also crystallize one of them so that probably what i'm going to use it on i've also crafted myself a sacrificial scripture i have made myself two cyan crystals and we got ourselves a crystallized safe which is pretty good i'm gonna put the best things that i've got i've just organized everything that i have now I'm gonna go to a port, so I brought myself a fishing rod, the MK2, and the mystery box, and obviously the sacrificial scripture. I'm gonna fish up there, I'm gonna get myself as much stuff that I can from fishing, you could get some really, really good stuff, and then we could sell them. Alright, we're here, let's sacrifice that, you may proceed, thank you very much. Oh, there's a sentry engine here, okay. I think we only need like one item for the, for the Devastator. All right, and we are in the safe zone. Great. Let's unlock this box. Let's see what we get. Yo, okay. Yo, that, that, that is exactly what we needed for the Devastator. Oh my god, we couldn't have been any more lucky. Next, I'm just gonna get all of the quests. I will not pay that much attention to them, but if I do manage to finish one, it's gonna give us something a bit extra, such as this one. All right, next, I'm just gonna fish. 
Uh, we've got ourselves the final item. Okay, well, I have a full inventory of loot, so I'm just gonna sell everything. Now, I did get myself, like, defibrillator batteries as well as some green crystals, which is alright. Back in base. Now, I know that in the future we're gonna need a quest with the dragon fruit. Now, dragon fruit is probably the best food because it can, like, maximize your food on water and it even gives you HP. Alright, the devastator has been crafted and the turret has been crafted as well and we've got ourselves a devastator. Alright, Horde Beacon has been crafted. Now, we will take the Devastator with me. He will do most of the work, and it's very OP against the Horde Beacon. Alright, Horde Beacon is done, we get ourselves a mesh, a Detto, some circuit boards, one gunpowder and a drill. Three rebels as well, which is crazy. Alright, not that bad, I guess. I was hoping for a heat wave. I've also just pretty much finished the second floor, kind of. I would need to make the roofs, but up here I will do it the rifle rack room. Where I'll just make as much rifle racks as possible and put guns, and whenever I need them I'll just come up, take a quick gun and leave. Also soon I'm gonna go raid that metal base that I saw next to the checkpoint, and hopefully get ourselves some really good loot from there. Alright, well, I got myself one explosive from the one gunpowder that I've got. So you can't build plates on this map, so I'm just gonna make a one by one with a ramp, go on the roof, and use the explosive on that. Very easy, very simple. Oh, thankfully, it's not claimed, though, because it was claimed and we couldn't really do this. Alright, explosive. Hopefully, it will break as much as possible. But it only broke one, and I think I raided inside the honeycomb. Splendid. Oh, that was quick, and there's a lot of safes in here. Great, okay. I'm gonna shoot this one next. Alright, uh, broke anything. Oh, there's a hard beacon inside the rifle rack. Okay, it's a thick point crate. Components, great. A filter, oh my god. Okay, well actually before I continue, I think I'm gonna make myself a hole and a ladder. And now we could... And I placed that incorrectly, splendid. Alright, two beds broken. Looks like it's a Russian base. They have like Russian letters everywhere. I don't know what they mean. Hopefully it's nothing bad. And the horde beacon is finally broken. I can't reach it. I'm gonna go salvage the ladder and then I'll go get it. Alright, so hopefully I have enough high kill shots in order to break all of these lockers. Alright, first locker broken. We got ourselves three graphics card. Some tape. Oh, that one was bad. Oh, sentry barrel. Alright, I'll take that. That's not that bad, but the rest is kind of bad. Okay, well, a valentine. A oh, defibrillator, better, and chemical. I made it back in base with all of the loot. Alright, first locker. Looks like it just clothes. Well, that's bad. Alright, and... Okay, well... Oh, grenades mashed. Alright, you know what? Not that bad, I guess. I'm gonna start making the rifle rack wall. Rifle rack wall is done. Absolutely beautiful. Our dragon fruit farm is starting to get pretty good as well. I'm gonna keep a couple. Just for me, because I'm gonna go to the dead zone and I'll use them as my main source of meds. Alright, dead zone run number two. We are back from the dead zone run, we're about to get out. We got ourselves some okay stuff. Not the best, but not the worst. We got ourselves a rebel, we got ourselves some mosca, we got ourselves like three tick vests. We got a ton of ammo, a ton of craftables. I'm gonna do another metal run, and then we'll start making the main loot room full metal. Alright, main loot room is done. I have successfully moved all of the crystallized lockers and large lockers, and I'm just gonna put the good stuff inside of them. Made myself a bunch of more safes. Is there somebody knocking on my door? Oh, he's gonna try to kill me, okay. I only had a valentine, okay. Well, that's, that's for the rifle recoil. Well, that's kind of bad because now he knows where I live. Uh, there's some PvP opening over a junction. I heard some tux shot. Never mind, they're trying to raid my base. But watch this, guys. A blowtorch is, mu is much stronger. <laughs> nice raiding, bro. Well, I don't think he realizes that I am blowtorching, which is... Uh, let me drop these stuff here and then I'll peek. So if I die, I won't lose them. Hey, what? Oh, he threw a grenade. Nice, dude. Well, I'm gonna go on the roof and jump from there with like a pendiculator or something. Let me drop all of the guts, the, the good stuff that I have because I don't want to die with them. And if I die, I would only lose a pendiculator. He's still trying to raid me, dude. You know what? I'm gonna push him from here. How the, how the hell is he not dead? Where are you, bro? Hey. Nice. Close that. And nothing has ever happened except for me getting a new sauce. 
Oh wait, what? Oh dude, he's raiding me! Alright, Maga dead. He's raiding me with a rebel. Right, he doesn't know that I'm coming from behind him, I think. Oh. No, I'm dead. Alright, well I'm gonna go down with this gun. I think he knows I'm back here. Oh, bro! No, oh, I, did, I didn't know this gun was a burst. He has no clue now. Alright, metal doorway. We'll place the door really quickly. And it's as if nothing has ever happened. Oh. Alright, hit him. Alright, he's dead. I'm not sure if it's the same person. Alright, a task. Some random junk. Okay. What the? How am I not dead? The guy is probably so mad right now. Oh my god, I almost died there. Alright, he's dead. I'm gonna kill every single spawn I see. I, I don't care at this point. Oh, this bed wasn't here earlier. That's probably his. Well, alright guys, that's going to be it. Now, if you guys want more Elver videos like these, let me know in the comment section below. This video took me a really, really long time to make. And I hope that you guys did watch the whole thing. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.